This device steps up with what is arguably the most beautiful design for an $80 smartphone right now. It goes for 98,800 Naira or $65 for 3 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage and 116,800 Naira or $80 for 4 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. If you're looking for the smoothest experience, you're going to want to lean towards the 4 gigs option, which I have here. So if you're curious also to see if this phone lives up to the hype without taking much of your time, Yo guys, let's get started. Out of the box, you get the smartphone itself, the paperwork or user manual, a USB-C to A connector, the SIM injector and a 10 watt charging brick. And that's it, so no earpiece or TPU case like you get from other budget devices. As far as design, the A3 here from Redmi is like where design meets the dime, especially when you take a look at the rear of this smartphone. The back for this smartphone is made out of glass, which is something out of place for an $80 smartphone. But beware, this can be a fingerprint party back here. With the way this smartphone is designed, it can stand on this flat side, define the laws of... Wow. <laughs> define the laws of... <laughs> Define the laws of, well, smartphones. I know you thought I'd say physics. Gotcha. And speaking of the sides, let's tour the edges here. Up top here, you get a 3.5 millimeter jack, the not to the classics. On the right side, you find the volume rocker sitting snug above the power button, which also moonlights as the fingerprint scanner. Moving on down, we say hello to the USB-C port, which is an upgrade from the micro USB we got from the predecessor, the A2, making it feel like it got a techie promotion. And here's a quirky twist. No bottom speaker here, you get a top firing speaker on this device which makes it a rebel and doesn't follow the crowd. Also while playing music on this smartphone, you get the audio through the top speaker and also the earpiece opening on this device. So if you cover here, you get sound from the earpiece. Swinging over to the left side, you find a dual SIM tray with a dedicated micro SD card slot and that means you can bump up the volume of storage on this device whether you opted for the 64 gigs of storage which I do not recommend or the 128 gigs model. Last but not least, the camera bump here unintentionally turns into a little ledge for your hands or your fingers here. Like a resting spot, do I call this a tiny throne for your fingers, making holding this phone a little less bland. So as far as design, this is something I consider solid, until you flip over to the front side which gives you a kind of different picture. First off, when you lock your eyes with this display or the screen on here, two things will pop and hop. The sizable bezels here and that cute little teardrop notch, making a splash right at the top. Now, the display here is an LCD panel that dances at 90Hz as far as refresh rate, but comes out of the box at 60Hz. So you have to dive into the settings to give this a little notch from 60Hz to 90Hz. And let's talk about the size. Because in the world of screens, bigger phone feels better. This one stretches out to 6.71 inches, giving you enough real estate to watch your entertaining videos and do your slight gaming with this device. But keep in mind, it's rocking a 720p resolution, which, let's be real here, is pretty much what you should expect from an $80 handshake with technology. I know you want to talk about the display reproduction here. Well, it's okay, not the brightest outdoors, but it's quite good for indoor use and basically gets the job done. So processing. We're talking about the Hello P35. Hello. Hello P35. It's the Helio P35 from MediaTek. Now, this little chip is no spring chicken. It's been around the block for a while now. It's seen a few things, you know, been in a couple of smartphones. We're talking about a solid six years of service on different devices. Now, can this handle your day-to-day -day digital hustle? Sure, it can. This is like that old car that might not win the races, but gets you from point A to point B. Is it the flashiest chip on the block right now? No, but does it get the job done? Absolutely. I've got the four gigs of RAM and 128 gigs variant, which I mentioned earlier, and which is the correct variant to pick for this device. So the Redmi A3 might not be setting any speed records here, but it's standing its ground as a basic smartphone in terms of the processing. So if you're dreaming of this device being your ticket to the big leagues of mobile gaming, I've got a reality check for you. This isn't the smartphone. Yes, the Redmi A3 is more of a casual gamer's companion. You can enjoy simpler pleasures of mobile gaming, cruising through, you know, puzzles like Candy Crush and leaping over platforms like in Subway Surf. But when it comes to the heavy lifting of GPU intensive games, well, let's just say it politely bows out. You have Android 14 out of the box, but unlike the MIUI we've come to love and know, this looks like a stripped down version to make things feel a little faster for this budget device. All right, let's dive into the world of snapshots and selfies with the Redmi A3's camera setup. We're rocking an 8 megapixel main camera at the back, paired with this 
trusty sidekick less than one megapixel sensor as the auxiliary lens with this device. And up front, you get a five megapixel sensor ready to capture all your grains, your smirks, and those occasional photobombs. Now, let's be real here. We're not talking about billboard worthy resolution on this device. The camera's mantra here is capture the moment and not capture every detail. You're here to capture, you know, the vibe and feels of the moment, but maybe not every pore on your face while taking photos with the A3, if you know what I mean. For what this little device packs, it punches around its weight class, giving you clarity when you need it. But just remember that it's a bit like a sun worshiper. The more light, the merrier. Under the bright sun, your shots will shine. In the dark, well, let's just say it's not at its finest. And when it comes to the video recording on here, you can roll this at 1080p in terms of the resolution as seen here. So basically, cameras are just okay with good lighting being the key point. Now let's talk about the juice here, the kind that keeps this device, the Redmi A3 running, not the one you spill on your shirt. It is smoky. This budget-friendly device here comes with a 10-watt charger out of the box. Of course, that's a slow one. And nestled within the sleek frame lies a powerhouse of a battery, a whopping 5,000 mAh battery to be exact. While it takes its sweet time charging, it makes up for it by lasting longer than a day on an average use. So why does it last that long, you might ask? Well, the Redmi A3 here does not require much energy to have a good time. Thanks to its easy-going processor, this phone saves power like fine tea, stretching out its battery life to bring you into the next day with more juice to spare. For the price, this smartphone will serve for basic mobile computing needs, good battery life, high refresh rate, and a clean design if you ask me. But as far as value for money here, there are some competitors out there like from the ITEL P55 series, those from Samsung like the A05, although slightly higher in price, that will give you a run for your money. So when you talk about design, this is a sub $100 smartphone you might want to consider as it's arguably the best for that price range while you consider subscribing to our channel here. Check out my review on the best 100,000 Naira smartphones here. Koei that day.